peeps. How y'all doing this morning? Don't I look like I just woke up? Because I did. I really did. About seven. About an hour ago. An hour ago. An hour ago. Not a week ago. An hour ago. <laughs> but this the time, y'all. 7.55 in the a.m. And today is January the 28th. And today is Thursday. And I'm doing a... I mean, my ass been running, y'all. Oh, before I get into what I'm doing, it's early. And, and it's not really good for me to record early in the morning. Cause my brain, half my brain be still sleep, and the other half be still sleep. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> yeah. How y'all doing this morning? This Thursday morning. We almost there to the weekend, y'all. But anyways, I don't want this video to be extra extra long. So, oh, I'm washing. That's why I got up so early to wash. Thursdays is my wash day. And Sharon rebraided my hair, y'all. She did a good job. She like, ma. I said, Sharon, don't you want to oil my hair? And rebraid it because my hair get dry fast. And she's like, I don't know how to braid. I was like, well, you got to learn. Practice make perfect. You can practice on my head, you know. So she did a pretty good job. It's a little poofy. But she, 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 she did. She, she did her thing. So anyways, this morning I want to do a fact about myself. I think I'm going to make this my little background, my headboard, <laughs> my background <laughs> with my fun fact. So, what I want to share with y'all, what do I want to open up about myself to the peeps that's a fact? <laughs> yeah, so, last time I talked about my baby daddies. This time I'm gonna talk about my daddy. I got hair on my lip. So yeah, my fact about myself is that, okay, here's the rundown. I was born March 4th, 1967. Don't nobody say what? That was like ages ago. I'm like, quit playing. Quit, just quit playing, quit playing. It's too early for that, right? So, yeah, my mom was 19 when she got pregnant with me. No. Well, she was 19, going on 20 when she had me. And so, I don't know that much about my dad, but to, now I could be getting these dates a little mixed up because it's been a long, long time, y'all. Dates is starting to get twisted in my head. <laughs> so, my daddy, I think was a year older than my mom. Yeah, so she was. 19 going on 20. I think she was 20 already. Or uh, 20 going on 21. Something to that effect, right? So I know she told me, she said, I was born March 4th during the blizzard of 1967. Ooh. Yeah. That's why I got that in the strength, y'all. I came through the storm. <laughs> and um, he, I think his birthday was March 2nd. I was born March 1st, 4th. And I think he died March 3rd. 
or either he was born March 3rd and died March 2nd. So between them two days, born and died, yeah. He was born, I'm thinking like a day before I was born. And um, I think he was, either he just turned 21 or he was about to be 21. And he was killed on the streets of Chicago. These streets ain't right, y'all. These streets will make you or break you. Uh, yeah, so basically I came into the world when my daddy left the world. And so I never knew my dad, never. And I had a picture mama gave me. My mama gave me like a wallet ass picture, you know. And uh, as I was growing up as a little kid, as a little girl, I would talk to the picture. Like, yeah, like I had one of those little, like, fantasy man or something. Like, he was going to talk back through the picture or something. But uh, probably watching too many uh, Disney movies. <laughs> Anyways, he, uh, I, I kept that picture for a long time. And his name was Albert Johnson. That's his government name. Mm -hmm. It don't matter now. He's not here. <laughs> and, um, then my mama said he wanted me named Diana. And so when she told me that, I was like, you know, why you ain't name me Diana then? You know, she was like, bam. I think I remember her responding like, I thought that was the name of another woman. So she named me Sharon. Where are you sharing from? <laughs> that probably was a God thing, though. But, uh, so yeah, basically I grew up, grew up with that. I, I grew up without my dad. But I had a few minutes in my life that God placed over to watch, I guess. You know, to have that manly figure in our home and everything. But when I was young, when my mama was pregnant with me, she ended up, oh, it didn't sound like she was cheating on me, because she ended up meeting another man while she was still pregnant with me. And that's the one that I knew I used to call my daddy. And it was a while, like years before she told me he wasn't my daddy. I think she told me like in grammar school, like upper grammar school, that he wasn't my daddy and told me the story about my daddy, my real daddy, that, that. But I still called him daddy, but it, it kind of changed little things, you know, in my mind. Like, he ain't my real daddy. Uh, my real daddy, dad, what? I'm an orphan, no. <laughs> Little orphan, she Sharon? No, nah, but the thing about that picture, though, y'all, going to the detail, is that when my mama used to, like, Fuss at me and hurt my love. Young girl feelings. I used to talk to my daddy. I used to talk to the picture, right? I'm like, I wish you was here. You will love me. You will fuss at me. You will spoil me. I remember saying that because I said it for a long time, y'all. Uh, like, I want my daddy. Like he was gonna come through the door. So I used to dream about he was coming to save me and all that crap. Man, it was deep. And it, and it, and it's a song that I associated with him. I don't know if he used to like this song, but it was some about around Christmas time when I was growing up as a kid. I used to hit a little drama boy. I do not know. I used to cry. And I don't know why that song reminded me of my daddy. And I was I was still like in grammar school after she told me. And I just hear that song and it's just I always thought of my daddy when it came to that song. So I don't know what's the deal with that song. Or maybe that was just for me. I don't know. But yeah, so basically I never knew my dad. At the time she told me he was my dad, she told me about I have my uh my daddy people. I used to be around them 
when I was younger, I didn't, I thought they was, I thought it was just these was my mama friends. I didn't know these actually family members that I was going around and playing with the kids and stuff. And later on, she tell me, oh, that was, that's your cousin, that's your auntie. I'm like, really, ma, really? Oh, they having family unions, they want you to come. I'm like, I ain't, I ain't into that. By that time, I'm, I'm on my way to high school now, I'm doing me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going no family reunion. And it's kind of That's just not my personality. I'm I'm real uncomfortable about uh getting to know new people, going around new people. It makes me uncomfortable. And even like at this age now, I think about it. You know, they on Facebook and all that. And like my cousin just reached out to me on Facebook, said, "Don't you know you got a brother?" Which my mama kind of told me she believed he was cheating on her, and that might well that lady named probably Diana. I don't know. He's like, "You got a brother?" I'm like, "Yeah." He was just up here. I'm like, "Yeah," but I mean, you know. I don't know. It's just my personality. You have to catch me on the street. You got to catch me in the wing. <laughs> but me just setting up something and meeting people, that's not me, y'all. That really ain't. So I asked my cousin, do my brother got a, like a Facebook um, page. He never got back with me on that. So I don't know what that's about. But yeah, that's my story about my dad, is that I never knew him. And I don't know, when I got married, I got rid of the picture. But I found it very odd that, because as I got older, I stopped talking to the picture, y'all. <laughs> but I kept the picture. And I started talking to God about the picture. <laughs> I kind of grew up a little bit. So, kind of matured a little. So, I end up marrying a man. And I call him George. I call him Bay now. But all his family call him Albert. So I get when I get around his family, I hear Albert. Albert, Albert. They from the South. Albert, Albert, Albert. So I think God gave me that. Cause how he knew I was kinda obsessed with the whole daddy thing and the whole picture thing. <laughs> So yeah, I thought that was really, really ironic. So, on that note, it's 808. I don't want to talk y'all ears off. And I'm going to end this video. This is my fun. I, I, want, I ain't going to even add the fun. It's people enjoy be safe be blessed send this prayers up i know i haven't said that in a while but yeah send them prayers up yeah okay
Get that my food ready, y'all. <laughs> I got to leave y'all for the food. Peace. Hello. See y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. And I hope y'all enjoy my facts. Yeah.